Hey, what's up you guys, and welcome back to the farm. As you can see, I got all of the equipment lined up that we are going to be getting rid of, aside from the uh, Dodge and trailer here. Um, so, just walk through the lineup, and then we're going to start figuring out how we're going to haul all this stuff, um, because at the moment, I still do not know how I want to go about doing this. Um, I'm not sure what's going to work how. So, let's get at it. So, first off, we got the John Deere 2100 Ripper. Uh, then we got the Alice Chalmers 2200 Field Cultivator, I think it is. Uh, we've got the John Deere 7200 8-row folding planter. Uh, the two John Deere... 8350 or 8530? 8350 drills. Uh, the JM 680 gravity wagon. The uh, New Holland 25 foot draper header and header trailer. The 8 row New Holland header and the New Holland TR 96. The John Deere 4786 and the International Farmall um, 1206. Now, what I'm thinking is we can hook the 4786 up to these two John Deere drills and then with those drills we can hook the J&M wagon and maybe like the field cultivator um, and have a big road train there because I know the field cultivator won't go on the trailer these will not fit that I'm not even gonna attempt to back onto the trailer so what we need to try and fit on the trailer is the 2100, uh, the 8 row, and then the um, 1206. And then we'll be able to come back, we'll pull the header trailer, and then we'll have to haul the combine as well. So let's go ahead, let's start off, let's fire this up, get this trailer unfolding. So today's video is most likely going to end up being fairly short. Because all I want to do in this video is sell this equipment. That's all that we're doing today. Um, and then tomorrow we're going to buy equipment. So. Alright. Let's see how this goes. Because I'm not exactly sure. I don't know if this 2100 is going to fit on there very well. I know that the corn planter will. That's kind of a no-brainer. You know, that one's kind of easy to tell that it'll fit. But these other items, I'm not... Or this item, I guess I should say. I'm not too sure about. It's probably going to be hanging off the sides if it does. But if it hangs off the sides, then so be it. I don't care. And it also helps to actually be lined up correctly. I would like to get these inside tires to at least be on there um, a little bit if possible one of them hmm okay let's do this let's put the drill or the corn planter on the front and then I'll try just driving on there with the 2100 so just drive straight onto the trailer versus backing onto the trailer and we'll see if that works I'm hoping that we can get the 2100 on here because then that's one less trip that we need to make It would be so nice to be able to get it in as few trips as physically possible. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to get all three of these items on there. Gonna have to find out and see, I guess. Or try it. Try it and find out. That's what I was looking for. 
And I actually want to use this to hook these items up first because it's going to be really difficult. I mean, it's going to be hard enough getting all these things hooked together without doing it with an articulated track. So let's not do that. <laughs> Let's see, we'll hook this onto here and then we'll hook the wagon onto the front. Come on. So then we'll have the wagon up in the front. Come on. Stop for me. Okay. Let's see if we can back these two drills up and hook onto that cultivator. Okay, just nice and easy over that way a little bit. Perfect. So now, that. This is definitely going to be quite the road train going down the road here. If only the cultivator had a um, hitch on it, then I wouldn't have to worry about trying to get the 2100 on the trailer. Because then I could just hook it behind the cultivator, but... I mean, neither the cultivator... Well, actually, I think the cultivator does fit on the trailer. Let's try that, because if the cultivator will fit on the trailer, then we can hook the 2100 on the back of this big old rig that we've got here and that'll solve all kinds of problems there's so many things to select here it's insane all I can say is turning with this is not gonna be fun it's gonna be insane to turn I guess it's a little bit well I guess it's not bad it's like driving with a uh, hopper trailer and a pup trailer on it which I have done so it may not be too ter too terrible yeah I think the cultivator I'm trying to remember when I first set this save game up I know I hauled I thought I hauled the cultivator or at least I tried something like that so this will like somewhat line up at least a little bit better than the yeah that's not gonna work it's about as wide as that is as the uh, 2100 is okay let's try this again got one tire on there it's about all that I can ever get okay so let's get this hooked back on him well let's just try driving on with this 2100 once be nice if this PJ had a hitch on the back of it too but I don't think gooseneck trailers like this one that I don't think PJ trailers at least the gooseneck flatbeds I don't think they have uh, hitches on the back of them okay well if this is how we're gonna have to go down the road that's how we're going down the road because we're not doing it differently or in as many trips as this is gonna end up being ah crap that's great crying out loud really you had to get stuck now come on get off the trailer there we go finally but yeah 
that's just how we're gonna go down the road I guess because I don't want to have to make as a super huge amount of trips I mean I'm already having to make three or four trips right now so having to make way more than that is not something that I have any interest in doing I'd like to make this in as few trips as physically possible Ooh, this ought to be interesting Ooh, I got a good idea though it's not something you'd want to do in real life but I'm gonna do it because this is farm sim. You might figure it out already. I'm hoping that this is gonna work anyways. Huh. I'm not sure that's gonna actually work. I may end up just driving. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think I got it. Yes, I do. Sweet. Oops, I want to go forward. Okay. So we got that rig set up. Oh, no. I didn't just do it again. Okay. I was say, I didn't just totally screw myself again with this tractor, but I almost did, but I didn't. Okay, so I mean, ah. if only these wheels were just a tish closer together, or this trailer a tish bit bigger. Oh, there we go. That's a little better. Now it's not hanging off one side. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this up to here and get these ramps folded. Hopefully, it doesn't send this thing flying through the air. Okay, it doesn't. So then I can back it up a little bit at least. Or not. Alright, whatever. That works. It's on the trailer, I guess. Making this truck squat pretty good. The wheels aren't spinning. I just gotta drive careful, I guess. And I can actually go this way. Go the other way, the long way around. I guess they're about, well, it's about the same in a way because this way I'm still having to go um, north, it's just farther down. Now I have put this truck in the end trailer in the ditch before on this road, and I'm not doing it again. Especially with it fully loaded. The last time it was unloaded, thankfully, because I was hauling equipment to the farm. I'm trying to remember where it was. It was on this next bend. Right down in there, I got it stuck. I took the curve too fast, and I went straight down into the ditch. I got stuck down in there. It was right there, just below the sign. I didn't have too hard of a time getting the pickup out. It was getting the the darn trailer out that took forever. Cause it was it was like impossible. It was just wedged in there. Like the collision on the jacks was colliding into the ground just right when it even when it was hooked onto the truck. And it just made it so hard. To get out I think I spent like 20 minutes trying to get the thing out of that ditch it was just insane I was like you gotta be kidding me and as soon as I hit the ditch I was like oh man I'm screwed I was trying to not I was trying to get it out without resetting it was my entire goal but it did work in the end I did end up I did manage to get it out or maybe it was on a different save game, I don't know. It was it was in that spot with this truck and this trailer. And I got them stuck big time. And it was just... I mean, it made for a 
few interesting screenshots, but it definitely was not something that I had planned on doing at all. Oh man, I hit a pole. I was too busy watching the sign, hoping I wouldn't take that out. And I hit a pole. Sheesh. Okay, so now that we're here, we can sell the... Um, we can sell the 2100 and the corn planter. We're not going to sell the tractor just yet because I'll probably end up using it to sell all the stuff that I bring down with the, uh, uh-oh. Well, that ain't good. I'll probably end up having to use this to sell all the stuff that I bring down with the, uh, international. Because, oh. Because, um... It, with that much stuff, it's going to be kind of hard to sell with the International to try and do it all at once. Come on, not again. Just what I needed. Not. Ah, there's that one spot that I keep colliding on. Got a two-wheel drive tractor acting like a four-wheel drive. There we go. Got it. <laughs> it's out. But yeah, because we're going to have to back everything in here one at a time with how small the trigger is. So, Very well, maybe it is fairly large. I don't know, but I just know it's in that spot right there. So... All right, so here goes the plow, 28,628. Before it was 23,663. Okay, so there's that. So, let's see, if we check our finances, we should be able to see sold machinery, I think. Yeah, so once we sell everything, we'll look and we'll see how much money we made. Because according to the store menu, selling things that way, uh, roughly we would make $189,275. So we'll have to see how that ends up. That will be the amount that we make or not. So what I think I'm going to do, okay, so let's get this thing out of the way. So we'll leave that there. Okay, we're going to get how much? 4,743 for that. Okay, now this, we're going to fold up the ramp, we're going to shut that off, and we're going to leave that sit there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get this hooked up. And we're going to put the combine on follow me mod. Then we don't have to sit and drive the combine on its own. Whoa. Guys, I mean, that goes roughly the same speed that this thing goes. Well, this goes 18. I don't remember what exactly the combine goes. Really? You're not going to let me hook up like this? Ugh. Gotta make it difficult. Just gotta. Okay. So now, we're going to get this convoy in motion. This is just ridiculous. Alright, 
We're gonna get this fired up. So this drives 14, so it'll hang back a little bit, but it won't be too bad. So right control F, and we want it to be hanging back 50. Wowzers. I definitely gotta get a screenshot of that. We definitely need our hazards on for this. This is ridiculously huge. We'll set that guy to 45 just so he comes a little bit closer. And any turn that we make with this thing, the combine will be able to make as well because we are super wide compared to that. And super long. <laughs> this is crazy. If you did this in real life, I think DOT would strangle you. I don't think they would like that at all. <laughs> So we're definitely going to be over a million dollars. Um, and I do also plan to buy a shed and put it in the little grass pasture behind where that auger is. Um, then we can store a little bit more stuff undercover and we don't have to use the, um, you know, rounded top building that we have been. then we can just store everything in there. I'm undecided as to what kind of building I'm going to put, but I just know that I am going to put a building up. Uh, but we'll figure that out tomorrow. We'll find, uh, find out which one to use. We're going to let the combine catch up here a little bit, and then we're going to run the same speed that it is going. Because I think it's, yeah, it's running 14.4. All right, and we can go now. Perfect. So now we'll have the combine just a little bit closer than before. Of course, we are going a little bit faster than the Combine is, so we will get ahead a little bit, but it won't be as bad as it was before there. We do have a bit of wheat in our uh, drills yet, or a bit of seed that is still selected as wheat. We're definitely going to take up the entire road, I can tell you that. getting closer I can definitely tell that when these wheels were baked there was something above them you can tell because of the little white patch or light patch you could say as well the lighter patch there that kind of signals that something was there 
that made it lighter. Holy smokes. Our drills and cultivator did not like that at all. Combine had no problem going over it though. So the combine is probably going to be the first thing that we sell when we get there. And then we'll uh, unhook each of these things individually and then we'll sell uh, the cultivator and this tractor and then get the rest of the stuff sold and then sell the uh, other tractor. Didn't even think about that. Good thing we fit under there. Do we fit under here? We should. Should be about the same height. Yep, good. Did not even think about that. <laughs> that could have been catastrophic. Although it wouldn't have been too bad, I'd have just gone like this. And we'd have made it under. I just let it unfold, you know, as we drove under, and it would have been fine, but. Man, these drills do not like these bumps in the road at all. But that one there, they didn't mind too much. Getting closer. We got one more railroad crossing that ought to be pretty interesting. We'll have to uh, just try and power through it, I guess. signs and everything all right we got the pedal to the floor let's get over this come on all right that one I didn't uh, mind too much thankfully all right so we'll take this guy off follow me things get dirty already just from driving but anyway we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this sold and this alone should put us pretty close to between these two items we should be not far off from a million all right so let's make sure that we can sell both items yep okay so that's selling first, so that's good. 27322. Okay, so $961,000. Alright, so we'll unhook that. We'll unhook that. We'll unhook that. And we'll unhook that. Perfect! So now we'll get uh, this cultivator and this tractor sold. Uh, and then while I'm thinking of it, I do want to sell, we need to sell the placeable sell point, and then also the solid fertilizer tank, because we don't really need that. I usually just spray my fertilizer, I don't put it down with the planter, so, and uh, we only use the sprayer, so therefore we only need the liquid fertilizer tank and the seed tank which we have so all right so this will be the cultivator 8086 and then this tractor seventy nine thousand five hundred that put us over a million 
So then when we uh, take the pickup up to go get the header trailer, uh, I'm just going to leave the PJ trailer sit here at the dealership because we're going to need it when we haul the new equipment home. So there's no sense in taking the PJ trailer home, leaving it there, bringing the header trailer down, and then going back and getting that uh, PJ trailer. And that's just more trips. So it makes more sense to just leave the thing. down to this other drill here. And we'll just get it ready to get sold. 4430. 4430 and 4430, that's 8860. I don't know why I wrote 9,000 to sell each but between selling the two drills to sell directly it's what yeah it's 3600 I don't know why I was thinking that they were 4500 to sell direct uh, sell from the store that was my bad my bad I don't know why I thought that pretty sure I even looked at them but if I did I guess I didn't pay that close of attention. So let's just see here. How big is the trigger? Okay, so we'll be able to drive in there and be able to sell both of these things. So 44, 27. Of course, I am guessing that the prices also depend on uh, the use that the items have. Okay, so we can sell that. And we can sell that. So now we just need to go get our header trailer and sell the header and header trailer. So far we have made $192,098. So we're already $3,000 more than I had figured with uh, just the store menu. So... I like going this way now to get in and out of town uh, unless I need to go the other way because of the stupid stoplights. I mean it is nice to have that realistic part about them but if only they were a little more realistic in the way that they're set up or like scripted and stuff and also that they didn't take so long. I suppose maybe there is something in like the XML file or something that you can change. Uh, and make it so that the lights don't take so long to uh, turn, but I'm not exactly sure. So now we just gotta sell this header and header trailer, and then we'll be... Uh, all set. too fast but through that dip there all right I guess it's kind of a horse apiece either way that you know, it doesn't really matter which way I go I guess they both get me to the same place and they're both about the same distance, so. Let me 
mean, if they're not exactly the same, they're pretty close, so. They're close enough that it, I don't really care which way I go, I guess. At least this header is not going flying. That's one thing that I like about the uh, header trailers here in 17. They seem to actually lock the stuff down and it actually stays. Like in 15 and especially 13, there wasn't a lot of times where the headers actually stayed. I mean, even if things were scripted to have like a load lock on them, they still a lot of times would not actually stay. So I'm glad to see that uh, Giants finally got that sorted out. It would be nice if Giants had scripted the straps, or like set up, set the straps up so that you could actually strap down like your tractors and all that stuff <coughs> as well. Um, you know, and so just like you can in real life, that'd be kind of neat. But I think that's probably pushing it to have Giants actually do that. Okay, so that should be far enough into the trigger that it will sell both things. So there's the header trailer, and this should sell the header. Yes, it did. So we're going to pull this right up next to this pick, uh, PJ. So we made a total of $207,331 and sold vehicles so pretty good chunk of change tomorrow we're gonna start buying these uh new pieces of equipment so that is gonna do it for today if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you like what you see be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time i upload a new video be sure to check out down below in the description for my pc specs my upload schedule as well as links to all my social medias and some other cool youtube channels that are worth taking a look at thanks for watching you guys and as always we'll see you tomorrow